Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I went to a couple Dollar Trees, even though I said I wasn't, but I was in the area from other places I was gonna go anyway. So I went ahead and went in there and I found quite a bit. I got some uh, McKay's used books here. I got some Second and Charles pickups and then some mail today. So let's just dive right in. I'll do the Dollar Tree first because I think the, the mail and everything else is a little bit better. But anyway. Uh, I'd say this is mostly DVDs. I got a couple of Blu-rays in here, but so first up here is a Paranormal Haunting Ultimate Collection. Uh, you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different, uh, I guess stories. I don't know. I don't think they're movies. I think they're just stories. But this is 624 minutes and there's a list of everything on the back there so you get uh the curse of the blue moon inn uh no soul and the stone no soul unturned the wild man of kentucky the mystery of panther rock uh ghost of the brotherhood uh greenway's farm journey into the heart of england's most haunted farm the Ram Inn, Journey into the Heart of England's Most Haunted Inn. And uh, Strange is Normal, The Amazing Life of Colin Wilson. So I guess most of these are um, from England. I don't say all of them are, but some of them are. So it might be good. I'm not familiar with uh, Columbia River Entertainment Group, but we'll see. Looks so like this was a Walmart $5 bin. Not sure if it was around here or Canada, but there's no French writing on here, but I don't know. Looks more like a Kmart than a Walmart. Uh, I got one of those classic tin cases here. This is uh, Big Tough Guys. Uh, get Beat the Devil, The Chase, Quicksand, They Made Me a Criminal, Borderline, and DOA. Uh, great cast here though, Humphrey Bogard. Mickey Rooney, Fred McMurray, and more. I've seen a lot of people find that one, though. All right, so we got, I think, six more DVDs here, and then I got, like, four Blu-rays. So this one people were finding. I didn't find it till now. That is the Sonata with Rutger Hauer and uh, Freya Tingley. I think that's how I say her name. Uh, these children on the back look creepy as F, but I don't know, might be good, uh, yep, so I got the Sonata, uh, this one looked interesting, it came in a red case, this is, uh, a Dope G Game 2 Coke Land, I think this is like an urban style thriller, maybe not that urban, yeah, it looks urban to me, uh, 91 Minutes, it does not say what year it came out, though. Uh, it's in color. Uh, not suitable for children. That's funny. It says not suitable for children under 18. Well, if you're 18, you're not a child anymore. So that's really weird. But it looked interesting. I like the red case. Uh, found one of the Dolmite collections here. This is the Legend of Dolmite Bigger and Badder with uh, Rudy Ray Moore. This is... I think this is a documentary, though. 2002. Yeah, this is a documentary, so that's cool. I definitely look forward to that one. Uh, I got another horror one here called Realm of Souls. First time I've ever seen this. This is a brain damage, brain damage films release. Uh, not a big fan of that label per se, but there's a couple movies here and there I thought were okay. Uh, this is from 2014, and I don't recognize anyone in the cast, but it says Who is Haunting Who? Maybe it'll be good. I don't know. We'll see. 
got another, I guess, horror action from Midnight Releasing. That is a film called Blood Punch. I never heard of this one either. This is from 2015, 107 minutes. And I don't recognize anyone in here as, as well. So could be interesting. It's like an action thriller horror film. And then lastly, I remember this show being on the air and I enjoyed it for what I remember. Uh, this is Just Shoot Me season two. With David Spade, George Siegel, uh, and a bunch of other people, but I definitely remember them the most of the cast, so there's that. Alright, we got some Blu-rays here. One of them I gotta open because there's a loose disc inside. But I found uh, a lot of these are Echo Bridge. I think one of them is not. The other three are. So I got Tribal, uh, Get Out Alive. It's probably not very good, but it's got uh, a bunch of people I don't recognize. But it's like an action thriller from 2020, 85 minutes. I'll buy, I'll pay a dollar 25 for it. I won't pay the $15 at Walmart selling it when it first comes out, that's for sure. Uh, found Blitz as well for, uh, from Echo Bridge to, to Combo Pack. I heard this movie's pretty good. I, I don't, I, I Jason Stam's all right. I'm not a huge fan of him per se, but everything I've seen him in, I thought was pretty decent. Uh, David Morrissey is also in this film. Uh, this is the one that has the loose disc. I think it's the DVD, but that's fine. Uh, this is If She Screams. Another horror movie put out by Echo Bridge that's probably not very good. But I like that. I like the artwork at least. And then the last Blu-ray here is an upgrade. I have the DVD. This is... Uh, Documentary about uh, Vegas Sunset Strip. I think it's Vegas, right? No, no, California. I'm sorry. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, just it's pretty much has a bunch of You get uh, Slash, Johnny Depp, Kim Keanu Reeves, Mickey Rourke, Sharon Stone, Ozzy, Courtney Love, Alice Cooper, Hugh Hefner, Perry Farrell, Peter Fonda, Clive Davis, Dan Aykroyd, Sofia Coppola, Tom Arnold, Richard Lewis, Paris Hilton, Lou Adler, Tommy Lee, Duff McKagan, Dave Navarro, Billy Corgan, Robbie Krieger, Method Man, Lemmy, Paul Mooney, and many more. And live performances from America, Dita Von Tees, Jane's Addiction, The Head Cat, The Pussycat Dolls, Burlesque, Rat, Slash featuring Fergie, Smashing Pumpkins, Steel Panther, and X. So great live performances on this documentary. Alright, that's it for the Dollar Tree. Now I got uh, McKay's used books. One, blue, one DVD here. This is a four feature, two disc set. Of Roger Corman's cult classics, Sword and Sorcery collection. I'm not too big on that particular genre, but you got Death Stalker one and two, Barbarian Queen, and the Warrior and the Sorceress. Those Death Stalker films are on one disc, and then the other two are on the second disc. And you get the the, the posters inside for all movies. Uh, I thought that was a pretty cool find, if I don't say so myself. This one was a little was cooler, though. This is a Severn Films Blu-ray. I have not seen the first film, so I'll have to go after and try to find that. But this is Strike Commando 2. Uh, this is from 1988, uh, starring Richard Harris. Uh, who else is in here? Brent Huff. Uh, Mary Stavin, Mel Davidson, and Vic Diaz. So, I like my cheesy 80s action films, so I picked that up. 
All right, I went to Second and Charles today. Didn't find a whole lot in there, but I found three titles. They had a lot of Disney in there, a lot of still brand new factory sealed Disney, but I only picked up one of them. And that is the two movie collection of The Little Mermaid 2 and then the prequel, Ariel's Beginning. See, brand new factory sealed. Can't beat it for, I think I paid seven fifty for this, so not bad at all. I know the sequel is not as good as the first one, but I heard Arrow's beginning was pretty good. Uh, I had to upgrade. I don't think I even have this in the collection. I've seen it many times. I uh, got the Sandlot here on DVD, on Blu-ray for three fifty. Uh, someone, I'm not sure you know the digital code is inside. Okay, cool. Usually when I find it open, the the, the code's gone, but got that. And then this movie I have seen before. Um, I think I actually sold my copy a while back, but I picked it up again. This movie is, <laughs> well, if you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. This is uh, Goodnight Mommy. This is uh, a German film from 2015. Uh, it's a pretty messed up movie. I, I enjoyed it overall, but, you know, let me know in the comments if you've seen this and what you thought of it. I thought it was really creepy. All right, so I went to the Walmart out there when I when I was coming home. And I noticed they put this out, and I looked it up because I didn't think it was supposed to be out until the 8th. Well, it's supposed to be out the 8th. But Walmart put it out on the shelves early, which I'm sure they have permission because... I checked out and it, and it scanned just fine. It didn't flag it at all, so, okay. So I picked up the new Resident Evil, Welcome to Raccoon City. I haven't seen it yet. I heard it's, some people like it, some people hate it, but apparently this is, this is, this is supposed to be um, more like the video game than the actual series, the, the movie series that came out, so. Looking forward to this one. Um, I do like my zombie movies. Uh, from I got this from Amazon because I'm, I'm trying to watch all of this director's films. I really enjoy him. This is a film from Nico uh, Mess Ma, Mess. I can't ever say his last name right. Mastarakis, Nico Mastarakis, and that is uh, Blind Date. This is a high-tech thriller from 1984. Uh, you get Joseph Bottoms, Christy Alley, James Daunton, and Pierre Doulet. That's how you say his name. Uh, Martina Sturis, Sirtis, Michael Howe, Jerry Sunquist, and uh, Gerald Kelly, and Lana Clarkson in this film. So. Uh, looking forward to it. I do enjoy his films. So be on the lookout. I'm going to be start, starting to do a director's legacy series on this channel eventually. I got to get a couple more films. I'm going to do one on Nico and Wes Craven. So keep an eye out for that. All right. So I got a package from Severin and a package from vinegar syndrome only one title each so uh this one i i had purchased on black friday as a pre as a pre-order and it finally came in so i finally got my copy of uh don't go in the house this movie is crazy i tell you what if you haven't seen this you should uh basically it's kind of like a ripoff of psycho and so to speak but he has a instead of killing him with a knife he has like a flamethrower and he yeah, well, you can think what he does with that, but, um, yeah, crazy, as you can see from the cover, and what it says up there, it's got a nice slip cover, and it's got the original artwork on the, there, and then, it's, this is a two-disc set, you get a couple different cuts of the film on here, you get the alternate TV cut version, get the theatrical version and then you get the integral cut version so the theatrical cut is 83 minutes tv cut is 90 minutes and then the integral cut is 92 minutes 
I'm not sure what the difference is. Probably just, uh, well, obviously the TV cut cut out a bunch of stuff, obviously, but the integral cut, I'm not sure what they what they kept in. Oh, the integral cut is combining scenes from both. Okay, gotcha. Uh, audio commentary by the director and producer. Audio commentary with the lead actor. Uh, interviews with co-producer and co-writer. Location of locations. Uh, archival interview with the lead actor. Commentary with um, Stephen Thrower. He's an author. Uh, video essay by David Flint, interview with the director, interviews with the filmmakers. Uh, oh, Jeff Lieberman's on here. That's pretty interesting. I like I like him too as an act as a director. Uh, don't trailer reel, and then the open mat uh, flamethrower scene. So, a yeah. bunch of special features on here. And then the last title here is. Probably one of my favorite shot on video uh, 80s uh, horror films. I saw this in the theater a while a couple years ago and I really enjoyed it. So I had picked up the previous Blu-ray DVD release. This isn't this is uh, this is the Vinegar Syndrome release, and that is Killing Spree. Written and directed by Tim Ritter. Such a crazy movie. 1987, 88 minutes. Uh, yeah, this, this is something to see to believe, guys. So, newlywed Tom suspects his hot wife, Lisa, is having sexual encounters with their suburban neighbors and visitors. He retaliates by launching a, a medithical and inventive, in, inventive campaign to murder the lovers, utilizing such unexpected devices as a killer ceiling fan TV set, ordinary screwdriver, hammer, and lawnmower, but Tom's victims don't lie buried peacefully in his backyard. They're coming back from the dead for revenge. So, yeah, this movie is pretty crazy, but <laughs> believe me, please, if you're interested, watch it. You'll, you'll enjoy it. Uh, as far as brand new special features go, you get um, brand new upscale transfer, New audio commentary by the director, interview with the lead actor and director, uh, extensive stills gallery with ever before seen photos, uh, new documentary on the making of the movie with interviews with uh, a couple of the actors, producer, director, uh, uh, the a new version of the, the trailer a couple of other trailers on here between uh, 1984 and 1987 uh, making of featurette is 60 minutes long from 1993 audio commentary with the lead actor and a radio promo from 1994 so very excited for that one guys well that's it for this video um, I will be doing a review video right after this one, so you'll see that later in the day. And then, um, yeah, so like I said, look forward to those uh, Director Legacy uh, videos I'll be putting up eventually. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.